87, 88, 89, 90, 91. Hey guys, how's it going? Just working on my biceps here. What you just saw me doing was open chained bicep curls, all right? Open chain is simply when the extremity is able to move the distal end. So 93, 94, open chain biceps. Now, you've probably heard of closed chained activities. Closed chained activities are where the distal extremity doesn't move at all. So how do I do that for my biceps? Well, follow me over here. <clears throat> so I gotta make sure that my hands don't move to do a closed chain bicep activity. Now, a lot of people, when they actually do a chin up, are doing closed chain bicep. So you start here, my hands can't move, but I'm still contracting my biceps. That's closed chained activity. So let's go back to my bench over here because that's where I got most of my stuff for this. So if we remember now, open chain, distal extremity is moving, closed chain, distal extremity not moving. So let's look at another muscle. Let's look at the tricep here. So with the tricep, open chained activity, tricep, tricep kickbacks right here. Open chain because my hand is moving. Distal extremity is moving. Closed chain for the tricep, doing some push-ups. Closed chained activity. Hands are not moving. My body is moving. Just like that. So a lot of activities people do in the gym, say a bench press, that's an open chain activity. The one thing that's really great about closed chain activities, they're a lot more functional. How often do you actually have to lift something off your chest? Hardly ever. How often do you need to get up? A lot more often. You should work a lot more closed chain activities for sure. Here's another exercise people do that's open chain that's not very functional, but it's a great example of an open chain activity. <coughs> people getting in these knee extension machines. This guy was blasting out 175 pounds earlier. It's crazy. So this right here, open chain knee extension. My foot's moving. My body is not. So Brooks, how do I work a more functional weight bearing closed chain activity for my quads? Simple. Do some squats. Get in front of that mirror. Watch your form. Squats. My feet aren't moving. My body is. That's a closed chain activity. So when you put a bunch of weight on your shoulders doing that, that's still a closed chain activity for the quadricep muscles. So we should understand that something like this is, whoa, open chain, stronger than I even realized, open chain for the triceps. Closed chain for the triceps, going back to that push up. Hands can't move. Body does. So remember, open chain, hands and feet are moving. Closed chain, hands and feet are stationary. You remember those things, you should be able to figure this out all the time. So next video, we're gonna talk about concentric and eccentric contractions.